Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse, and I am here again with Mr. Williams. Yes, that's right. Well, we had we had three good nights. We had two. We had three real good nights on the show. Hot, but yeah, nice. But it I was mean, real good. Well, you got something to do. Well, I guess we'll go to commercial. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Every year, thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration, featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd, when the world grand champion Tennessee Walking Horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931 6 5915 and reserve your seats then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Well, I can one, so uh, get your cat off from here, sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 Mark Yemchi. So, to my man, there's a black stud goat by I am, three time world grand champion of the world. I am Jose, is his daddy. There's opportunity. The bid, 27. Where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call, when you get down to it, done. So, so, you got it, 2600, 2600 here, and then 56 and a half. 5600. Do I have another 5500 here in 6? So, 5500, you bought a 5500. And so, 1100, Mark, call, take it. Call 1100, you bought it. So, so, so. You bring one, bring the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Andy Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right as I said, it's the so, 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 you bought it. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> They're going to have one heck of a sale. They're going to have a sale. Yeah, now, there's really going to be a good one out there. You know, we got a lot going on. There's Everybody's talking about one thing and another. But uh, all honesty, our shows are going good. Uh, our compliance rate looks good. And to be perfectly honest, I, I know there's a lot of talk around town about everything that happens. But yeah, I, in all honesty, when when I look at the situation of the industry and I look at the horses, uh, every now and then I see a horse that, you know, that's not, not that, that anything's wrong with him, but he out of gear or something. But I'm not seeing what the outside people are saying. No, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not seeing that either, mm -hmm. you know. Um, a lot of outside people, the things that they say is something that they didn't heard and they don't know really the truth about it. Right. I mean, and they have never been around this horse over a period of time. Well, the ones that, that have come and look 
and and honestly come in with you know with an open even some of them with with their mind made up when they come they look and they say this is not what we've expected and i look back at all the stuff that goes on in washington and mainly it, it just if they ever stop and think about this past act yes on what it's wanting for for them to ruin this industry they're destroying now shelbyville it will hurt shelbyville big yes, time it will farm the the farms over there will more or less especially the barns where they're raising horses and everything that that will just it, it will virtually disappear but from there you go on and you look at the hundreds of charities that the walking horse supports yes you're right and tourism now tourism is a big big thing for tennessee but look what percentage of tourism comes because of the horse tourism pays for education yep pays to have roads i mean it's unlimited what tourism the tax dollar helps pay for and because of a handful of people that and, and I can say it because they're guilty of them. They would lie, cheat, and steal to get their way. Yeah, exactly. And they've done it. I mean, they've, they've, the Humane Society has been caught numerous times doing different things. They, they even paid a big fine where they didn't, they paid a guy to testify and lie in court. They do all of this and cause harm to so many people. And the only people that benefit from what they do, it ain't the animals. The animals don't benefit. Matter of fact, some of these animals, it will hurt. Yeah. Uh, they won't g receive the care that they get now. So I, I just, I don't see their reasoning other than one thing. They, they're either ignorant to the issues at hand, they don't really care one way or the other, or the Humane Society is doing what they're best known for, and that's paying someone to lie. Yeah. And when a congressman goes in there and votes for this past act, he's not doing anything but telling a lie. He's hurting kids. He's hurting. He's he's hurting all kinds of charities. He's hurting businesses. He's hurting us all. He's hurting Tennessee bad. North Carolina, Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama, all these states. We'll fill it. Well, you know, at this last show, this, the Lewis Bird Horse Show, mm -hmm. when you when you go in, they was taking up donation for scholarships. Right. For the kids and well, all three that. Well, three of stuff. them got scholarships That's what I'm over saying. there. But, I mean, they was getting scholarships. You know, I donated money and stuff like that. But, I mean, that helps the community. That helps everybody. And that's just like the, the um, Humane Society. To me, if you a person won't donate money to that, go to your your state place and get and well, go your to local your local place yeah. and get and donate money for that because you know them animals mm -hmm. and them people gonna get that. My daughter that lives in Louisiana, she's she she does her time over there at the um, humane side doing for the humane side and all that stuff. And she goes over there and she'll just see how the dogs are and they need a lot of feed mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But they ain't get no money from nowhere else, but the only money that they get and that people donate to them. Well, the Humane Society of the United States, they give less than 1% to, to help dogs, cats, or whatever. Yes. They use the horse to raise the money, and I guarantee you, if they come out here to rescue horses, which they've done before, they're not the one doing the feeding that stuff somebody else. Somebody else doing the feeding. Right. You're exactly right. If I call your congressman, tell them to take this past tack and shove it. We got video. Cornersville, Tennessee. Right there's primetime player and Bill Calloway for Kimberly and Perry Walden. Good two year old right there. That's real good two year old. I tell you, they got some talented two year olds out there. There's a bunch of them. A bunch of good ones. Kimberly and Perry Walden on the entry of Shelbyville. Primetime player and Bill Calloway, congratulations. <laughs> right there's Black and Black. Show pleasure winner, Knox Blackburn in the saddle for Shamrock Farms. Black and Black and Knox Blackburn, your Riders Cup show pleasure winner. 
Back in black. And right here you got Jimmer's country girl and Carol Baxter. I'll tell you what, she could win that class on that mare. Oh yeah, that's right. That's a real nice mare. That mare won. Oh, I don't right. think she's been beat at all. It has not been beat amateur or open. Yes. Great horse. Jimmer's country girl and Carol Baxter. You know, Jimmer's standing out at Sugar Creek. Yes. That ought to help his breeding. I'm going to say he should get a lot of good mares to him. Oh, yeah. Because putting stuff like this out. Right there is Capistrano and Kimberly Walden. I tell you what, she, she, sometimes I kind of think that they're, that she doesn't get treated as good as she could in yes. some of these classes. Because mm -hmm. Kimberly's got some great horses. She has some real nice horses. And lets kids show them and everything. She's just a good person. She's a real nice person. Team player. Right here's Hayden team Thompson player and Hayden Thomas Thompson. Thompson. I'm sorry. Hayden Hayden's a good dude. Yeah, he yeah, he, he's a good young guy that loves to ride these horses, loves to show them. Here's the Kathy Lewis you know, horses. That young man right there is getting up showing horses and stuff like that and he's enjoying it oh yeah you know well he i'll tell you what he's a worker too yeah he is he'll get in there and do what needs to be done and no doubt about it this horse business is a teacher how to work honored yep. in texas. right there's honored in texas and john allen calloway for bob adcock i like the way that horse sits up in the brow oh i do too he sits he up there and gets there it there done. Lap there. He's one of the good ones. Yeah. Tell you what, that's a that's a pretty tough division this year. You are exactly around that. That four-year-old class is. Well, you got four-year-old, and then you got your four-year-old canter class. Canter class, yeah. So you, I'm gonna tell you, there's Formal some tough line. ones in there. Josh Here's Forma Line. Carol Baxter of Alexandria, mm -hmm. Alabama. Carol bought that horse. Yes. And then a little bit later, we're going to show her riding him. Form a line. That is another horse that makes a real good show. Yeah. Real good. He always. It's a pretty thing, too. Yeah. Gets it done. One final chance. Right there is walking Mr. Charlie and Jimmy McConnell for Terry and Lisa Smith. They're from Franklin County, Tennessee. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good people. Real nice people. Real nice. Your walking stake open champion. One thing about Jimmy, he can pull them out and have a stake horse for every every show come out. Anytime I don't see Jimmy McConnell in a steak horse class, I wonder why. Yep. So and was he just ones. Yeah, was he just tired tonight yeah. and didn't want to show again? <laughs> I mean, he got one full of them. So as long as he's training, there'll always be a steak class. Oh yeah. Because he, he'll have a horse to go in it. It won't be it in. won't be empty. <laughs> if Jimmy shows up, there'll be a steak That's horse. Right. I guarantee you. All right, let's go over to horse play. That was a, that, you know, we did not have a lot of horses, but we had quality horses. That's, That's right. one you thing exactly we had. Right we that. had some talented horses. Uh, I thought Joe Fleming did a good job of judging. Yeah. He he tied horses in there. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't question Brandon him. Now, I really couldn't. To receive those awards. Congratulations, Dean Tree 784. There he is. I am big enough than Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley, your youth pony winner. I tell you what, I was awful thankful for the water trucks that come in yes. there. If they hadn't came, we would have 
been in Choke City before tonight was over with. Right here is Genetics 4G and Winky Groover for Keith Hayes, the two-year-old stallion winner. That's another good two-year-old, see it? I yep. mean, you got so many talented two-year-olds out there, talented horses out there. But I'm gonna tell you what surprised me, if you look at them, a lot, but most of them have different ways of going. All yep. of them, they don't go the same. No. But they get the job done and they're walking and shaking. That's when you arrive. There's honors, Mr. Guess. You know about that horse. Oh, yeah, Tell us it. about it. <laughs> He's a good one. Virginia's tickled to death with yeah. him. Yeah, she is. She's tickled to death with Jeremy and the job he's doing showing him. Jeremy is real excited about that horse. He is. He, every time I talk to him, he, he you can see his eyes yeah. light up. We tried out our new uh, switchers over there. Right there is yeah. I Sing Dixie and Drew Graves for Richard Garns. I tell you what, Richard was uh, tickled with that one. Oh, yeah. Linda that's, was too. That's a good horse. <laughs> Oh, Drew's been putting some good ones oh, in yeah, the ring. Yeah, right there is Mr. Lineman and Tom Mink. I tell you what, this horse right here is very impressive for one reason. He won the amateur canter class, looked great. Come right back in there in the state class with the trainer on him. Got another set of roses, you two sets in one night. That's what you call a talented horse. That's what you call a horse that... Well, that just dispels what the government is trying to do in this past act. Yeah. That right there tells you it ain't true. Yeah. The horse can wear yeah. them action devices and turn around and pass the inspection. Four inspections on that yeah. horse, four. Well, that's what you call an athlete. That horse is an athlete. That's go it. back to back and show and win both classes like that. I know it's it. Ready to show. You and know? then them sitting up there saying, well, that six ounce action device hurts them. I beg your differ. Yeah. And I can prove it to them. All they got to do is come and sit down for five minutes. I can prove them that that action device does no harm. If it did this right here, I wear it 24 7. I'd be so sore I couldn't move. That's right. It just, I don't know. Uh, people rather believe a lie than the truth. All right, we're headed to the sizzler. Got to do a little sizzling. It's Tweba Summer Sizzler. Right here's your youth 12 to 17. That was a real good class. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue. Honor and Obey, Cohen Abernathy. That's a good horse. Yes. Pushing JFK all over. London Coffee, Milena, Elsie Lewis, and Jose the Champ, Cole McCormick. I tell you, James said that they just bought that. That is a good horse yes, right that there, is a good buddy. Horse. Mm -hmm. Now he he that's the first time he's shown me. Yeah. So everybody better back up. He'll be showing him some more. I like this. This was a good class of night. You know, it was a real good class. Put both of them kids in there, 11 yeah. and under, and 12 through 17. Tell you what, these 12 to 17 year olds can, a lot of them can ride with anybody. Oh, yeah.
There she is, Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley. Them kids, them girls there really enjoy it. Hey, they have a ball. They and they're very supportive of each other. Oh, yeah, they are. Each one of them got their way of riding. Yep. And here's Diamond at the Ritz. Now, we did this for one reason, our video from the CalSonic on this class right here. Yeah. I don't know, something, it just wasn't right. But that horse was, he made a great show. Both places, Diamond at the Ritz and Lexi Smith. That's another one of Kimberly Walden's horses. And she is just beside herself. Cause Lexi does a great job of showing that horse for her. Really does. All right, here's your three-year-old stay in class. I saw that the horses that were showing, and I said, well, Billy and Debbie, they had several horses, but they was two of them three-year-olds. Yeah. March Madness, and Casey Wright won the blue for Billy and De Debbie Woods. Voyager, Jimmy McConnell was reserved for Paul and Tiffany Simons. B.S. Garfunkel, Blaze Picard for Yellowstone. And Georgia High Honor, Knox Blackburn for Bruce and Robin McDonald. And Brett Maverick finished out the ribbons. But March Madness took the blue. Bet you can't tell when that horse was born. <laughs> <laughs> right during the playoffs, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Said we All these horses in here was real good. Yeah, that's was, a tough class. That is a tough class. Real tough. I was there Knox on a real nice horse. Well, each they, one of them, yeah. some of them reached more, some of them stepped higher. Oh, I've always liked that one. I've always liked that one. Yeah. In this class right here, it all depends on what kind of horse that's you it. like. That's it. All these horses are real nice. You look at the color and the way they're going, going and everything, saying, right. I like that one the best. Mm -hmm. I am March Madness and Casey Wright for Bill and Debbie Woods, your three year old stallion winner for the Summer Sizzler. Getting, from what I'm hearing, they're getting a lot of two and three year olds for the fraternity, too. Yes. That's going to make those classes real exciting really, yeah. this year. See right. Tell you what, they they had a good good turnout. Yeah, they did. I, mean, have I a think good they ended up with a hundred and I'm wanting to say 30, 36. Yeah. I like that show. It was on time. I mean, every, the class oh, everything went on, went, everything was everything clicking. Went on, they yeah, just click. went right on clicking yeah. right along. I think we're going to have to take a commercial break now, though, before we go to Marshall County. Is that that'll, work. that'll work. We'll, we'll do a commercial again. <laughs> I just check it and make sure. Yeah, that'll work. We're going to take a short pause for our sponsors and we will be right back. <laughs> Jim DeWin started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. 
After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. <laughs> Welcome back. You know, Winter Circle there, they're advertising. They, they really did us real good for the, the horse play show. Yeah. With that grooming kits that they gave. But right now, they've got a, a genuine patent leather uh, girth on sale over there. I think it's 120 something dollars. Mm. But it's white, yeah. patent leather. That is. Uh, oh, that's a real good deal. Hey, it that is. is. Let's go to Marshall County. This is a real good show here, too. Oh, yeah. Right there, your three year old Marin Gilding class. This horse right here, Daybreak. And Knox Blackburn took the blue for Care Teresa Kincaid. Honor me now, Dale Watts. Happy Face, Dan Waddell. Class with Sass, Tanner Burks. And Smoking with Jimmy McConnell finished out the ribbons. However, everybody remember this name, Daybreak, because it's gonna be shown at the celebration in the amateur division by Madison Scarborough. You remember her? Yep. Oh uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> she has rode some good ones oh, up yeah, there. Yeah, she rode some bunch of good ones. Tell you what, they they had some quality horses. Oh yeah, they did. Real good quality horses. And the crowd was good too. Oh the yeah. Big crowd. They had a huge crowd now. Yeah. I heard someone right then say Knox Blackburn. They thought Knox was winning that class. Yeah. There he is. 
Daybreak in Knox Blackburn for Teresa Kincaid. But the next time you see him in the ring, it will be at Celebration with Miss Carborough on top. Okay. Yeah, she'll be riding him. Madison's a good jockey. Oh, yeah. This is always a favorite. Youth 11 underclass, it's the medalist. There he is, and Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. Pride of Oopsie Doo and Briley Boys. Good time, BKT in Boston, Kate Tillman in Rich Big Dipper, Elena Arnold. This class here was good. They had oh, yeah. I'll tell you there. what, that, that right there. Oh, that yeah. Oopsie Doo's a good horse. But now the medalist, he was awful good. Yeah. Awfully good. Them kids, they just amazed me that they can ride. I talked to a gentleman, he's talking about his granddaughter showing. And he said, I just don't know about her getting on them big horses. I said, wait until these 11 and unders come in. <laughs> I said, you, you think you're on big horses? There he is, the medalist in Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. I'm gonna have Eli on the Celebration News one morning. I might just let you and him take over the show. Let y'all do that, whatever that probably you want to do. That'll work. Tell you what, he can ride now. Yeah. He can ride he a can horse. Ride. Right here, two-year-old stallions. This was a real good class. Oh, yeah. Look who I am in Casey Wright took the blue for Bill and Debbie Woods. 18 Carrot Jose, Bill Calloway for Gus King. Chills Hard Cold Cash, Sam Martin. Walk the Line, Clay Sanderson. And in God's country, Eli Leverett. and you just doubt the ribbons. Tell you what now, that's a kid that can show. Yeah. He's a good young man too. Right there is Casey. Oh yeah. I want everybody to say a prayer for Billy. Billy, he's uh, has the dreaded cancer and uh, dealing with chemo and all of yeah. this, so it's, everybody needs to pray for him. He, Billy's a good guy, super yeah. good guy. Anytime you're dealing with stuff like that, it's, it's rough. Look who I am in Casey Wright, your two-year-old stay and winner. Tell you what, Billy and Debbie just got some good oh, yeah, horses. Got some really they got some great horses. I asked Casey's daughter, I said, is your daddy still a good picker? And she said, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Jason does a real good job now. He does. Does a real good they job. They do a real good job. Him and Michael. They work good together. They do. Right here is Dark Rain. Is another good one. Taylor Walters. I tell you what, I love this horse. Oh yeah. He he just gets it done. He's steady. He he just he he doesn't in that ring. He just I haven't seen him make a mistake. No. You can take all these videos and put together, and I guarantee you all of them are going to look the same. Yeah. They, they, he's that type of horse. Well, 
he and Taylor have molded because they, they put on a good show. And here's amateur ladies in Gildan's class. The Paddock Master. And Dahlia Smith Har took yeah. the blue for Kenny's for Smith and Har. A normally. And Debbie Flack was reserved by Felicia. Kathy Lewis. Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine, and she's blue as ice. Elana Wilson finished out the ribbons. There's Dahlia. Dr. Hart. Yes. Just look at all that crowd of people. I These know. People just, There's a big crowd there. It is. It's something about this, them outside shows that bring people out. People like to. Well, it's, they like it. And it's the old atmosphere. Yes. I can remember Belfast. You used to go to Belfast and they had a rope around it. It wasn't fenced, it was a rope around it. I mean, it was just a great place. Just back then, you, you wanted a horse show, just. Well, remember, we went up to Milton Way. Way. Yeah. You marked it off and we, we put a rope, rope around, around it. it. Yeah. We had a horse show up there. in there. Yeah, the Paddock a, Master and yeah. Dahlia Smith Hart took the blue. That's a nice hole. That is a nice It horse. really is. Her and her daddy train most of theirs. Oh, yeah. Since she's a veterinarian, she pretty much get it done. Oh, yeah. Right here, amateur four-year-old mares and gildings. I'm gonna make a statement here. Everybody better look out for Kerry DeArmond. Now, I'm telling you, honor and salute and Kerry DeArmond won this class, look there. Yeah. Now, buddy, he is flat getting it done. It ain't no slouch about it. He's, he's flat showing the horse. Jen's Lucky Penny and Janie Chapman was reserved. Costa La Vista and Brenda Burma, Marmon was third. See Me Walk and Shake, Sister Milligan and Charlie's Hot Point. Michaela Latham finished out the ribbons. But I'm gonna tell you, Carrie DeArmond, that was one good show. Oh, yeah. he, he, he did now. He rode that horse. Just You couldn't ask for nothing no better. Look at her on the rail. Oh, yeah. He, he was in there. That class oh, yeah. was pretty much stacked out. That's right. This is the kind of classes I like to see. You well, have a ring full of good horses. Competition. Competition. And you're riding. But I tell you, Kerry, Kerry rode that horse about as well as I've seen him ridden. Oh, yeah. There he is. Honor and salute. Kerry DeArmond took the blue. He went back home with a smile on his face, I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. But that right there is that's, that's, good, that's what you call walking and shaking. That's buddy. right. That's what you call walking a dog right there. <laughs> you got it, bud. <laughs> Getting it done. I was tickled for him. I really was. Right here's your four-year-old class. This one right here is one that had the people oh, yeah. up on their seat. Right there is the reason why. Old Troubadour. And Tyler Balkum come to the blue. 
for Allison Armstrong. NRA's Cool Breeze and Casey Wright was reserved in honors image. Tanner Burks was third for Shane Porterfield. That old horse, that walk, and that but, easy, that's what you call a walking horse right there. That horse has gone through a lot, came back, and let everybody know loud and clear that he is back. Believe me, he is back. He didn't miss a step either. He just got down and got it. He wasn't in there with no slouches no, he either. No. He was in there in a good class. In a good class. But when that horse right there come through the gate, he's holding, look at everything else. That's right. It, it, it was. It, 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 it was. It was. I mean, can well, you go watch him? Everybody was wondering if, because word got out that he's going to be there, and then he wasn't there. Yeah. And they wondered, well, is he going to be there? And I, I talked to Hayden Thompson, and I told him, I said, they probably going to bring him over later, and they did. Yeah. Old Troubadour, Tyler Malcolm for Allison Armstrong, your four-year-old winner. He, that horse covers ground, too. Oh, yeah, he does he, cover ground. He takes a stride now. He doesn't mess around. He don't take him long to get around there. No, it don't. You look up, and he'll be gone. Great show. Right here is your walking horse state class winner, Joe Paul and Winky Groover for Strickland and Porterfield. Yep. A good horse. Oh, it is. A real a good horse. Good horse. All right, get a good lick with that floor on horseshoe. It's Joe Paul with Ricky Groover in the irons. Brian, the time is good for the DCC. Right here was another one now. Big enough. And Maxine Beasley took the blue. Time to tease and Jessica Law was reserved. Huntress, Storm Sims, and Master Class, Avery Dick Derrickson, Aubrey Derrickson. Finished out the ribbons. But I am big enough and Maxine Beasley. That's gonna be one tough class at some point. It is gonna be a tough class. It's gonna be super tough. You didn't speak of the horses that shows around here are gonna be in there that win. Yep. And the horses that shows all these others, you know, states all and stuff them. like that, all around gonna come and show. All of them coming to Tennessee. Yep. At the meeting place. Right there's I'm big enough from Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. She was your winner in the youth pony class. Okay, here's your three-year-old Marion Gildon. Kid can do. That's a, and that's another Tyler good Balcom took the blue. Summer Roses and Casey Wright was reserved. And Management Gin, Magnificent Gin, I'm sorry. And Tanner Burks finished out the ribbons.
And Summer Rose is a good horse. Oh, yeah. Real good horse. Here lately, getting close to the celebration, you start seeing all these good horses coming out and showing. You're going to see more and more of them. We got four more shows. Yes. We got three more here close. Kid Can Do and Tyler Malcolm for Robert Dorch. That horse will probably show an open and amateur. Yeah. So Robert ain't going to miss a chance to show a celebration. No. Not when he's got a horse like that. Getting it done, buddy. Yeah. Getting it done. Oh, Robert, he's very excited about this horse right here. Yeah, he is. He's, he's got a right to be. Oh, yeah, that is a nice horse. Mm. Right here, Amateur Marin Gilding. This was a good, another good class. Manning and Tyler Walters took the blue for Kelsey Andrews. Gotcha Jose and Brittany Baum was reserved. Harley Quinn, a world champion. Oh yeah. And Beth Collins was third. Neon Cowboy, Glenda Nichols, and Jose's Lily Rose. And Scott too finished out the ribbons. But on this night, Manning and Taylor Walters. Got a well-deserved win. Lady riding that bay horse right there, she's yeah. from Australia. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. They, they come and show these horses from all over the place. All over the world. All over the world. He got dusty up there. Yes, he did. The water truck broke down. Well, they said the water truck had a hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> then they had to get the fire department to come. And do it. And do it. Something always happens now. Yes. There he is, Manning and Taylor Walters for Kelsey Andrews. Sure did get dusty in there. Oh yeah. But it settled pretty quick. Taylor can flat ride now. Yeah, she can. I'd probably put her up against any amateur ride. Yeah. Out right here, you three-year-old stallions. I am the gentleman. And Michael Wright from Bill and Debbie Woods. Finally, I am Jimmy McConnell for Thomas and Grant. Broadway Honors, Tyler Malcolm for Keith and Lorraine Rosberry. Deal me a hand, Dan Waddell, and Collusion, Renardo Green finished out the ribbons. It was another good class. Yeah, a lot of good horses in yeah. there. A lot of good horses in there. Good horse, Dan was on. Dan, Jimmy's on a good. Oh yeah, Jimmy's on a real good horse. Hey, uh, Michael just flat getting it. Yeah. There he is. I am a gentleman. Oh, yeah. And Michael Wright for Bill and Debbie Woods.
Right here, amateur 15, two and under class. Former line and Carol Baxter. Was, now, she just bought that here. horse. Yeah. Now she's showing. I tell you, she rode this. She rode this horse here every step of the way. Yeah. And this horse don't have no bag up in him. A kingpin was reserved with Bob Adcock. Punisher, Ashley Ray. Knockdown drag out, Joe Manis. And I am Charlie. Cheryl Norman. Or Markham. And Cheryl she's... Markham. Now you talking about a horse that rode both ways the rail. Mm -hmm. It was this horse right here. I tell you what, Bob's horse looked good too. Yeah. So she she was in there with some she good was, horses. She was in there with some good horses. But now this horse is she just Now that horse there is Yeah, she's getting it done. Form a line and Carol Baxter. That's a good match right there. Yep. I don't know who was excited. She, her, Adele Watts, because he was running back and forth on that rail, <laughs> howling and screaming. And the whole Dale's face was Yeah, he, he both of them was he gets, excited. He, he does now. He he does. He gets excited. His eyes get a little yeah. big. Mm -hmm. You know, he he gets he gets into it. Yeah, he gets into it now. He, he, you would think he's the daddy of every one of them yeah. out there. And he really would. <laughs> Tell you what, we're gonna take a short pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back with more video in just a minute. I had a knee replacement, so they have got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. All righty. we got a couple more classes, mm -hmm. and then we're going to uh, head to the barn. Do barn work. Jerry's yes, going. Sir. Jerry's going to clean stalls. I'm going to supervise. That's right. <laughs> yeah, right. Make, make sure the fork's right. <laughs> make sure the fork ain't bent. Yeah, ain't bent. All right, let's go back to Pulaski. Right here's El Hombre in Black. Jake Jacobs. Amateur four-year-old stay, and he was reserved yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, now he made a heck of a show. Yeah, a heck of a show. This was that was no tough class there. I tell you what, he rides like a trainer. Oh yeah. Yeah, he does. The way he sets that uh -huh. saddle. The way he watches a horse's head yeah. and everything, he reminds me of trainers, the way they do. El Hombre in Black. And right here is Honor and Remember Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis, your state class winner. He made a statement. Yeah, now, this was a, very impressive. Hey, here's a four-year-old that might not be even looking at the four-year-old that yeah. much. He may have something else on his mind. 
because that's the second time he's won the state class yeah. this year. Man, that was very impressive. He got the job done, that's for yeah. sure. Looked good doing it, too. I know Kim, Kim Lewis, she, she says that she's raised children and she knows a four-year-old is like a teenager. <laughs> and that's about the size. Yeah. I know two, two and three-year-olds are like teenagers, teenagers too. too. Yep. Some of them are like kindergarten. <laughs> you got to just work with them. You are right. Well, I tell you, we got a lot coming up. Everybody is uh, looking at the elections coming up, yeah. Tweeba elections coming up. We got to decide on what we're going to do next year. We dealing with the past act uh it's just a, a lot a lot is on the plate of everybody it is a lot yeah. how many are you going to show at celebration this year you know yeah i think we got about about nine or ten all together mm -hmm. mm -hmm. how many lead lines you going to do got two got two, two lead, lead lines i want to see how you're going to do that uh, it's going to be tough <laughs> it's going to be tough hey you as long as the kids get in there that's right a good time mm -hmm. that's all that that's matters. all that's all they matters. get in there but we, they will, they don't allow umbrellas yeah. at celebrations. Mm -hmm. so, so you ain't got to worry about, about that's that. That's right. But I got my umbrella broke now. <laughs> you, oh, you got an umbrella, umbrella broke. broke. Yeah, got an umbrella broke. <laughs> you ought to watch this guy get out there with a flag, with one of them dancing dummies. <laughs> I mean, all this stuff to get these lead line horses to where they won't spook it. That's nothing. right. And we we'll go over there one day, and he's got three of them lined up in a cross tie parked out. Yep. Oh, and, I like that lead line. I like fun with the kids. Well, and stuff well that, like that. that's fun. You, that's the thing. And they learn a lot. Yeah, they I, do. I've watched you work with them. You got your your grandsons where uh, we watched him ride now. He's, yeah. He's getting with it. Sure is. But I'm going to be visiting some farms, uh, barns this week, just checking out and see what all is going on. But I will definitely be over. Oh, yeah. See That'll what y'all doing. We got a uh, – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on that sci-fi and ride him around a little bit. Yep. He's a uh, – He's a trail have, horse. We might have you out here on the video here this next week. I don't know. Riding, so. riding sci-fi. Now, <laughs> tell you what, folks. <laughs> tune back in next week for an ep another episode, and maybe we'll just let Jerry do the show by himself. That'll work. That'll That'll work. work. I can do it. <laughs> I'd, I'd love it. That'd be good. That'd be we'll get Jeremy to come with you, and you and him do the show. Do the show. Mm -hmm. All we're going to do is victory pass. Yeah. All right. That'll work. Folks, we'll see you all next week. Jerry and I'll be back. Have a good Thank week. Thank you, y'all. Have a good weekend. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Oh, please start talking. Thank you.